Herzlich willkommen. A warm welcome to all our viewers. Welcome to Heather's Technology Center in Nürtingen. My name is Lukas Schult. Let's take a look today at the latest highlight made by Heller, the fourth generation of the four axis machining center of the H series. Now, the machine is brand new, but an old hand here is my colleague Christoph Schmidt from product management. He's going to present the machine to us. Welcome, Christoph. Now, this is the H4000, but that's not the only model, right? Yes, correct, Lukas. Hello. Hello, everybody. In total, there are four models in the Generation 4 of the H series. The smallest, the H2000, with an X stroke of 630 millimeters. And then we scale up. The H4000 with a stroke of 800 millimeters. Then the H5000 and the H6000 right behind us. And here the stroke is one meter and a pallet size of 630 by 630 millimeters. All right, Christoph, let's take a look at the H4000 here. Let's talk about productivity. Productivity is decisive from the point of view of our customers. What can customers expect? Well, absolutely. Productivity is a promise associated with all products made by Heller. And that is particularly true of the Generation 4 of the H series. Now, when we talk about productivity, there are always two things that we have to focus on. The first thing are the idle times, and then we also have the machining times, that is the actual performance of the machine when in operation. Now, let's talk about idle times. Well, yes, idle times were a focus in the development of this machine. The idle times are now much shorter, and part of these are the chip-to-chip -chip times, positioning times, and we optimize the dynamics of the machine overall. And the, the result of this are reduced idle times. So we've been able to reduce idle times significantly. Now let's take a look inside. Let's talk about machining time. The spindle is the centerpiece of the machine. What's new? Well, when we talk about the spindles, about machining times, we're talking about the machining performance of the machine in operation. And in this context, we have to talk about the installed capacity, the high torque of the spindle. And you mentioned this earlier. On the other hand, the whole question is whether we can then also translate the installed capacity into chips. The Heller name stands for machines that allow our customers to really take them to their limits, to let them prove their performance. And this is then, again, reflected in shorter cycle times. Now, you've talked about the spindle. Let me open the door of the machine for you. And you can see one of the spindles that is available for this machine. We have three versions in the portfolio. Power cutting, dynamic cutting, and speed cutting. This one is the dynamic cutting spindle, and it is a universal spindle with high speed and high torque. So the speed is 16,000 RPM and the torque is 180 Newton meters. So this machine allows for different kinds of applications and the machine can be used very flexibly. Now who needs such, such a machine? For whom is this machine? What kind of customer will buy this machine? You told us how uh, powerful it is. Now it is a typical universal machine. It's a flexible machining center four axes, and uh, typically these machines are used for series production. And um, it can be smaller series, medium series, or even large volume series. All this can be covered. And then, of course, you have great flexibility because you have different spindles and equipment packages available. So you can also use this machine for all kinds of different workpiece materials, aluminum, steel, casting, even difficult to machine materials such as titanium or in canal. All right, Christoph, 
Let's uh, talk about operation. Now we are at the control system here. Now, of course, operation is a central focus. We want operators to feel comfortable with the machine. Now, here you can see our main operating unit designed as a console, which allows optimum positioning. Now, you can swivel it and adjust it to allow best visibility of the screen and at the same time into the work area. The screen itself is divided up into several sections. We have the main section with the Siemens control displayed, and we have additional sections here with additional information displayed so that the operator is always in full control. All this is with touch control, but we also have hard keys, keyboards here, so that the operator is always in full control. In addition, we have three potentiometers for speed, for feed, and for rapid traverse control. So the third potentiometer is for the rapid traverse control, so when setting up, you can achieve optimum conditions. So highest operating comfort and also a good accessibility, and that uh, takes us to the next topic, ergonomics. Yes, correct. Ergonomics play a major role here at the operating station, but let's walk around here. You know, this is the place where the operator will be working most of the time. And again, you can see clear arrangements of all the controls, touch control, an automatic door, that is an optional extra. And um, the ergonomic arrangement here, the um, aperture and loading from the top is possible. You know, a large opening, the sill is very low, the lift over height is low for operators, and we also have lighting, not only in the work area, uh, but also at the workpiece loading station and also at the tool magazine. All this is standard. Oh yeah, the tool magazine. Let's take a closer look at the magazine. Maybe you can give us some more information. Yes, of course. The tool magazine is the an important part of the machine tool. That's also true for generation four of the H series. Now, we have a whole range of different sizes. Here, this is the standard magazine size, 54 places, but this scales up to 240 places with HSK 63. And with a rack type magazine, you can ramp this up to 375 storage places. And now that we're here, uh, let's take a look at the help segment here in the back. It accommodates all the components, hydraulics, pneumatics, lubrication, and electrical components. So everything you need to maintain the machine and to provide service. And it, in fact, it has a large opening back there. When you remove the panel, you get a comfortable access for the service personnel. And we can also see the coolant system. This is one that has a paper belt filter, a vacuum rotation filter is available as an option. And there is a cooler or even a cooling temperature control system. All these options are available for Generation 4 of the H-Series. Well, thanks very much, Christoph Schmidt, for these interesting insights regarding Generation 4 of our 4-axis H-Series. And uh, dear viewers, if you like this tour as much as I did, then drop by at our website, www.heller.biz, and you will find much more information about this machine and all our other machines as well. Thank you very much.